a beast of a book um, and I tried to make as much space on my desk as I can to show it to you. In terms of uh, beast, I mean in the most positive sense of it because um, it's just amazing and I was going to do a review for you but I really needed quite a bit of energy to do this because it really is quite um, quite an unusual book in a sense of how generous the artist is to give all of that knowledge because I find that with not all but most um, especially modern botanical artists I find them a little bit greedy um, with with wanting to share their knowledge and their style and their experience and really truly teaching you and this is like a encyclopedia the amount of information that's inside this book is just mind-blowing so I bought this book because I saw it's a new one I, again I couldn't see really inside apart from a few pictures which I had to one of those situations take a bit of a gamble and go with it uh, let's face it I have so many books I don't really need to buy them but I do have this curiosity for them so um, this is definitely not regrettable by in any um, sense because it's just such a beautiful book and I found that it really is eager to teach you. So first of all the layout of it is fantastic, it's got a wire bound, it's quite unusual, um, it's a square format and it's got metal um, corners here so you really can use it a lot, it's sort of designed to last and the inside cover is beautiful and then you have the kind of modern illustration and all of these illustrations are done by the artist herself so this is her style and let's see this book was um, published in 2019 so last year is quite um, quite new and yeah so basically what is it called it's called modern watercolor botanicals a creative workshop in watercolor gouache and ink and that's specifically what really interested me that mix of mixed media and watercolor i find it incredibly interesting and um you know mixing things and kind of stepping into the new boundaries and not just looking down at mixed media as being more of a craft art but more of a art art if that makes sense anyways I spoke about this in my earlier videos and uh, it says here from the mint gardener Sarah Simon so her Instagram is mint the mint garden I believe and um, I have subscribed because I absolutely love what she does um, it's just the style the look I don't know she just picks up a pen and a few colors and just makes a flower look modern but like modern in a neat way um, very pretty her style is very specific so look at let's look at the contents the artist desk foundations of watercolor tools prepping to paint basic watercolor techniques color um, expression composition uh, composing a painting then we go on to the lessons, botanical lessons. It really is designed like a workshop, so you feel like you, you're taking classes. Lesson 1 up to 16, and uh, you have uh, build your skills, play with technique, color, recipe, boundaries and blending, simple strokes, compound strokes, loose leafy reef, Palm fronds, loose peony, floral bouquet, tropical leaves, plant lady, tropical terrarium, layered reef, draping botanicals and wildflowers. So it really feels like the artist has taken so much time thinking about all of these lessons and all of the content in a very, because it is put together in a very logical and sensible way and if you know my book reviews, that's always something I'm seeking for. Uh, there's a bit of a foreword, introduction, and um, yeah, I mean, I couldn't recommend this book more than, than I'm recommending it because I think it's one of the top books 
uh, that I have ever purchased in terms of watercolor botanical modern kind of art. It really is up there and um, the artist is super generous in sharing her experience and willing to really teach us, which I can't say uh, about you know some other artists, but yeah, um, photography is great. Again, has this modern look. The pages are matte, and it has that kind of paper, great paper kind of feel to it. Um, it's not too thin. It's not too thick. And you can see there are, goodness me, two hundred and seventeen pages. So it's huge. Like it's really, really big. And look at this beautiful. So the glossy pictures of photography um, are on the inside of the covers, both sides. So you can get an idea of the quality of the photography, uh, very clear, beautiful, as well as the style from these few pictures. I'm not going to do a full on um, a flip through just because there is no need. You, you can see how beautifully this is designed. And so here's lesson eight, single layered. So you get the tools that you will need to use. The paint palette is broken down for you. It's all nice and clear. And then techniques, tips for projects, beginner advanced. So it even breaks it down for different levels. Um, as you begin, I mean, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous book. And then it goes on to the lesson with beautiful photography. Some of them smaller, some of them bigger. And just to give you an example of a lesson, so that's that. And then at the end it says, why art? Seeking moments of joy. And there is a, a nice little bit of a read at the end of each lesson. So let's just go backwards now. And um, dry paint, fresh paint, dry paint. It just explains to you what it looks like, how it, how different it feels and teaches you about uh, wetness, how wet the paint should be or can be and what different techniques you get from it. It also has a watercolor chart which you can use to practice a little bit. I don't know how the paper would take watercolor on here but just as a little kind of, um, you know, a little bit of fun more than doing watercolor in this book. It's not designed to do watercolor inside it. It's more of a collection of um, lessons and your uh, learning progress, really. So here is the lady herself, and uh, she's very likable. I find her very, um, like, you can relate to her a lot. And I certainly do relate to her a lot, especially after reading this bit here, page 70 to 71. I really recommend it to anyone who is a mum and who struggle through finding themselves in art. Yeah, it's really super powerful and inspiring. Color recipes, watch uh, chart. So she talks a little bit about mixing different paints as... Um, the title gives it away. There's going to be gouache and there is going to be ink and watercolor. And then she sort of combines them together for the style that she works in. Okay, so really beautifully designed. I am super, super excited. Maybe I should do like my top favorite books like botanical books and see how I um, see what I can share with you. But this is definitely I like I want to say number one, like this is this is how excited I am about this book, not because it's new. I actually had it now for a good few weeks um, and I took time to do the review because I wanted to kind of absorb this book and have a good, good feel of it before I share it with you. So. Uh, it is a lot to take in. I remember when I first got it through the letterbox and, um, or not, not the letterbox, it wouldn't fit, but um, when it was first delivered, I um, it was during the lockdown and so I sat down and I had a little bit of time and I started flicking it through and I realized that 
just going through like we can do with most books in one sitting, that was impossible because there was so much information and so much beautiful things that your eye was caught on every other page um, and you wanted to read, you wanted to explore and so that just was impossible to do it in one sitting. And I ended up actually taking three days to get through um, looking, just looking at this book. So it is, it is really, really, it would be a fantastic gift to someone who's stuck at home and that you know of who loves um, paintings, um, flowers and all of that. So yeah, um, I think it's, it's just amazing. It's like taking online courses, but for much, much cheaper. <laughs> So thanks um, for watching, the links are as always below and see you soon!